Okay, this video is about finding out what the address of your I squared C device is. The reason we have to have the address for your I squared C device is that you can have more than one I squared C device on the same bus, on the same set of wires. So for the Arduino Uno in this case, to communicate with the I squared C device, we have to know the address. So how do we get the address, you might ask? Well. I guess in some cases it can be given to you, but in a lot of cases it is not. For instance, I just got these in the mail today. Uh, this is a 16 by two LCD display. It's got the I squared C um, board on the back. And then this is, what is it? 128 by 96 OLED display. This is also an I squared C device. The pins are right here. I'm not going to go too far into what I squared C is right now. We're going to focus just on how to get the address. So let's take a look at that. First thing we're going to want to look at is how do you actually connect this thing up? So uh, let's start. I'll put this off to the side for now. Let's start by looking at what I have hooked up here. So um, I'm not sure if you can see this or not, but we have four lines on this on these pins here we have power we have ground we have SCL and SDA um, to make a long story short power goes to 5 volts ground goes to ground on the Arduino SCL goes to A5 SDA goes to A4 so let's go ahead and hook that up now and I have yellow as SDA and orange as SCL so I'll go ahead and hook that up on the Arduino and let me zoom in to that here there we go so you guys can follow along so uh, let's go ahead and hook up we'll hook up our control lines first so we said we have yellow going to SDA SDA is a4 which is right here then we have orange which is SCL going to a5 which is right next door A4 and A5 on the Arduino Uno, and it may be on others, I'm not sure. That is the I squared C bus. So next, we're going to do power and ground. I have ground is the brown one. Okay, we got two grounds. We got one there and there. And then we have five volts right look at it from the side make sure I get it right there we go yep we got ground and then five volts there so whenever I whenever I actually plug this in back to back the view out here sorry for the shaky camera work there guys whenever I plug this in we should see our LCD display light up and we're gonna go more into L LCD displays later and yeah, it's lit, it's lit up. It's got power. Um, so now let's go to the computer. I have the Arduino IDE loaded up. But what we're going to be using is some code. I'm going to do a new instance here. I'm going to erase this out. And I'm going to paste in this bit of code. Uh, this bit of code is down below in the description so you can use it for yourself but let's take a quick look at what it's going to do it's using the uh, wire.h library and in a nutshell what it's going to do there's a for loop right here address equals one address is less than 127 address plus plus it's going to try and communicate with the device on the ice on the uh, i squared c bus if it fails to communicate it increments by one so basically it's just brute force trying each one of the possible 128 addresses so that's all it's doing until it finds it's scanning all the addresses until it finds it so let's go ahead and we'll upload this piece of code we'll see our lights flash on the uno board no way i gotta save it or whatever there we go there, now we see the, it uploaded it, and we don't see anything, but we have to go back to the uh, 
go to tools and then we have to open up the serial monitor that'll show us the output of this program and you can see it's saying I squared C device is found at address 0x27 so we're gonna we're gonna write that down we're gonna write down LCD 0x27 that's the address of our LCD display. So now let's get it for, I'm gonna unplug the Arduino board. It's still running, it's still running the, uh, the code, but I'm gonna unplug it since we're gonna be fooling with the power. And now we're gonna find out what the address of this little OLED screen is. And you can see it's got similar pins here. Let's see if we can let's see if I can show it to y'all. Come on, focus. There we go. You see, we got VCC ground SCL SDA from right to left. So I'm going to do the same thing I did a minute ago. We're going to hook that up. Oops, unplugging from the wrong place. So we'll unplug all of our connectors and again we have, I've actually got this written down so I don't forget. I've got a yellow going to SDA and I've got orange going to SCL. So it's going to go just like this. Yellow and then orange. And then next in line is the ground. And then next is VCC, or five volts. Sorry if I wasn't holding that in front of the camera there. All right, so now we have that hooked up. We have our serial monitor running. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and that address should change if we have everything hooked up right. We should see it change from 0x27 to whatever the address of this device is. I may have to reopen it, let's see. Here we go. All right, yeah, it's running now. All right, sometimes you have to restart that serial monitor. So this, for the OLED display, we're looking at, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be able to use this in the uh, coming videos. I'm gonna do some videos using the LCD display and the OLED display. The OLED display is 0x3. C and that's in hexadecimal. So there, that's how we get our uh, addresses our for our I squared C devices. And now we can move on to the next video where we actually learn a little more about each one of these devices. Then in a future video, we will learn more about the I squared C bus in general. So thanks for watching, guys. See y'all next time. Bye bye.